back friday night football number 37 sponsored by rocket mortgage zan here calling the action all night long with you along with bugs and we're going to kick it off with our big matchup of round number one that is going to be our bounty match between j wall and last week's champion fnf 36 champion let's get it right rage so uh bugs uh rocket mortgage comes in hot we got the the new prize total two thousand dollars a week man it's 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 so dope that to have one, just to have Rocket Mortgage to be a part of the Madden family and, and finally, you know, join us and, and help us to grow Madden and grow Friday Night Football. So I, I first off, I want to start with that. But then also just now they've had helped to take it to another level with this uh, with this bounty or this this blitz cash that we have that we call it, where basically the, the previous week's winner of Friday Night Football, assuming that they come back each week, would Basically, if they lose, they're basically your win the winner of that game is getting a thousand dollars, assuming that the the non-returning champion wins that game. So it's really dope. Huge interception to start this game already. Yeah, so we saw right there that was an interception by Rage, who's gonna get the ball. I now I now believe we're watching this from the vantage point of J Wall. I'll have uh yes, we are watching this from J Wall's uh vantage point. Uh so he is he is on defense now i just want to make sure it looked yes. like i wasn't yes, trying to make sure there was no identifier around there to see which guy was on on offense and defense so uh yeah we got an opportunity right here off the uh off the rip for uh rage to potentially uh defend we have not seen our our champions the previous two weeks be able to get over that first round hump it uh, it's a very taxing first round matchup books yeah most definitely like it's it's a grind from the jump like you have like you're getting your opponent's best game from the start because they want that thousand dollars. They know they see blood and they see the opportunity to walk away with a thousand dollars, regardless if they fumble seven times in their next game. They know they can. They already have a thousand dollars. It's it's honestly a huge lift off of like weight off of guys' shoulders to be able to pull that off. Yeah, I mean, so and not only that for the person defending the blitz cash, but also for the person who wins it. We've seen that that's such a taxing game that they haven't been able to parlay that first round victory. Talking about A dot with his victory over Clef and FNF thirty five, and then last week Jaybird was able to topple uh, the, the champion. Uh, it was one of those things where, you know, it, it just did not seem to allow them the momentum to to win five games in a row do you think it's one of those situations where if you win the blitz cash you kind of let down or is it just that that game is such a sweat that when you come away winning it, it you don't see clearly moving on like what would you think it is bugs i think it's a combination of both where it's such a grueling game you're kind of playing it like a championship game and so you really kind of you lose a lot of energy off that game because you're so locked in you're so focused because it's, it's a championship game from jump to the point to where it once you go to that next game you're kind of like drained you're mentally drained you know i talked to a dot the day after he had won the bliss the very first bliss cash and he that's exactly what he said he's like man i was so drained after that first game See the out route right there by Jay Wall. He's going to be running the trips tight end. This is the offense that we uh, came to know him for last year. He ran this offense very well. This year, though, trips tight end hasn't really been a meta formation. Does that surprise you at all? Uh, no, it hasn't surprised me too much because it's the way that this year's game is playing. It's trips tight end has really been so good because of his crossing routes. And now that the crossing routes don't exist, Trips tight end doesn't have too many post routes and stuff like that because that's really what it takes. They have post routes, but they don't have the shark cutting post routes. They have those post routes that kind of run towards the safeties. And so you need more of those post routes on different icons. It can't just be on one icon because if it's just on one icon, then you can just key in on that one guy. Or you have to have a hot route master at a quarterback or at least two to three uh, slot apprentices and stuff like that so that that way you can maximize the offense that first down complete to shannon sharp moves the chains and now uh first and 10 he's going to go ahead and motion out to the the short outcut seems to be a staple so far using these little short five four yard out routes trying to uh stay on schedule here uh something that we've seen in recent weeks bugs a lot of players are starting to kind of 
I wouldn't say ditch the run. Nobody's ditching the run, but we're actually starting to see guys really throw the ball a lot more. Yeah, the guys are starting to air it out more. Honestly, this is very – this year really hasn't – been too different from any other year. The biggest difference has been how dominant the run was this year. It, it the year always starts off with runs and a huge hit stick and a fumble. Rage is starting this game off hot right he's now. He's really trying to, good right now. Yeah, he's he started it off hot right now. He's looking like he's trying to defend his cash and he wants to be the first guy to collect his own blitz cash. Stretch to the outside. There's Bo Jackson down the sideline. 30, 20, 10, 5. Bo knows. Touchdown. Rage up by two scores. At Rocket Mortgage, we get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us. Handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. Once again, shout outs to our new sponsor here, Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans. Allowed us to double our prize pool here on Friday Night Football. Zan here called the action with Bugs early on in our first matchup. Rage looking really good after his championship last week. I think a lot of players out there in the community thought maybe that was a fluke. Uh, Rage, you know, definitely a solid player. Um, no, no shade from me at all, but I think a lot of the rumblings out there, Bugs, was that, you know, uh, he, he, isn't a player we typically expect to win one of these tournaments, but uh, you know he's been close so often. I'm I'm not personally surprised, and he's playing great defense. But a great dot down the seam. Here's Diggs, and now he's gonna oh he's gonna walk in for a touchdown. Quick strike there by J Wall. We got ourselves a 14-7 game, but uh, yeah, I mean Ray just looked pretty solid with the exception of that 80 yard touchdown uh, through the last two weeks, folks. Yeah, most definitely. Rage is a really solid player. Anyone that thinks that's a fluke. It's not, not by any means. I've I've had an opportunity to play Rage quite a, quite a few times over the last few weeks, and I know firsthand he's a tough, solid player. And then I say it all the time: you are who you hang around. He hangs around belt winners. He hang he hangs around two guys that has belts. So if you're hanging around two guys that has belts and two guys that play the game at a very high level, and and when I say these two guys, I'm talking about Ghost and Draney you're going to more than likely end up being a really good player yourself. You know, you, you're going to position yourself to be in the third belt winner when you're hanging around the, those caliber of guys. So it's, it's, it's no fluke at all. Single back uh, wing close flex formation. This is the Oakland Raiders playbook here for Rage back on offense. Again, you're watching from Jay Wall's vantage point. We did switch early on in the first quarter. Uh, we are remote casting as we have a dot to the outside. Randy Moss with the juke, and he's going to pick up a first down across midfield down to the 34-yard line. But, uh, yes, we are remote. This is our last remote week. We finally get that new studio next week, Bugs, and uh, you and I will be on the call to christen that brand new – uh, I can't wait to show it off. This place is going to look sick next week. Man, I can't wait. I've, I honestly, I've been just, I've been so excited to finally get into the new studio and really to just be able to see the the fruits of the support that the the guys and the, the guys and gals in the chat right now have really helped us to build, and they're really a huge reason for it. And Honestly, everything that's come with Friday Night Football has honestly been a joy and a treat to watch and just see the growth. Absolutely. 3,700 strong in the chat right now. We are going to have that new studio open next week. And uh, as he said, it, it's all been made possible by you guys week in and week out supporting Friday Night Football uh, coming out. You know, everything that you guys sub, you donate the bits, it goes right back into our esports program. And uh, I'm definitely excited to show out, uh, show out and show off with that new studio next week that uh, honestly, it's you guys in the chat that have helped make this possible as we have a dot down inside the 10 to the five. Good answer by Rage here offensively after that quick strike by Jay Wall looking to punch this in. 3.30 remaining in the first half, Friday Night Football, number 37. Sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. We got plenty of action here in the first round. We'll give you score updates as they come across. We have our great staff in the back, Will, running the switch for us. We got Ant Cap keeping everybody organized. Rockets with the giveaways into the chat. And, of course, our great moderators that help us out week in and week out as well. First and goal up the middle. Bo Jackson, good defense there by Jay Wall. This right here is a huge possession right here. Rage really wants to get into the end zone. When you're up 14-7 like this, 
and and you don't get ball at half, every touchdown is critical, especially in this situation right here, because re really what you're doing is positioning for power within the game. And you really want to go into the second half feeling like you have control over the game. So by doing that, he wants to get seven. That way, even if Jay Wall goes downfield and gets seven, he's still up seven going into half. Or he may be able to position himself for a field goal right before half and be able to have a two-possession game. I form H wing stretch looky. Good run defense there by Jay Wall. It's going to bring up third down and goal from the four. Big patch this week. Uh, we we saw some changes coming in, some new abilities, some hot topics out there in the community. Uh, it's been it's been a whirlwind. It's been hard to take a step back and breathe since that title update yesterday. A lot of uh, a lot of talking points out there in the community right now. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of chatter going on with the community. You have to moss stability. Guys won't see it tonight because it's not. A part of tonight's tournament it's, it's banned for tonight's tournament just because from a balanced perspective it's one of those things where it's cool it's really dope and cool for uh the arcade portions of the game and stuff like that but when you're talking about competitive i don't know if it necessarily fits a competitive game yeah, so so for those that aren't sure what uh, what that was today, we did come out uh, as Mutthead as a team, and we did ban the Most ability that just came into uh, Ultimate Team. Basically, guarantees uh, aggressive catches, fifty plus yards downfield once you get your player in the zone. And uh, we stepped up uh, as a team and said that's not going to happen in our tournaments. They're not going to play. And actually, right after that, EA followed suit today and they changed the cap total on the ability to nine ninety nine. So. Um, I think our community is fraction is, I guess, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We never agree on anything, I guess, is what I'm saying. For our co competitive community to stand up together, we were pretty much in unison. And uh, I do want to give credit where credit is due. Shouts to EA for doing the right thing and uh, putting that as a 999 cap uh, for the tournament. Oh, most definitely. Because... <laughs> If it wasn't, I can guarantee you it was going to be on my in my lineup for the, for this coming <laughs> tournament. It was definitely going to be in my lineup for this coming tournament. It wasn't that expensive as cap as far as cap. It was only thirty cap, thirty cap for a guaranteed fifty plus yard play every time, and then you add Homer to it. Then your requirements for getting into the zone is that much lower. I mean. It's a no brainer. It's a brainer as far as I'm concerned, especially for a guy that passes every down. I'm going to get my guy in the zone as quick as possible. And then once I do, it's GG's in the chat. Right. I mean, it was such a such a big talking point as we have a sack right there, second to 15 coming up. Such a big talking point. There's several things to talk about with this topic. And I figured that we might as well get it out of the way here in the first round when we're talking about this ability. Um, you know, first of all, first of all, we're talking about you, you mentioned the homer as well as the indoor baller ability. So basically, if you play a home game and you have Homer and indoor baller in your indoor stadium at home, you only have to complete like, what, two 20-yard passes to get your player in yes. the zone, for, first of all. Next thing, if you actually looked at the players that could get this ability, we're talking like 22-cap Cooper Cup, 20 I don't know, like 24 cap Robert Woods was able to get it. Mm -hmm. You know, some some players that you weren't expecting overall wise to be able to do that. As we have a huge interception. That's Jabril Peppers, the new most feared item with a huge interception and rage in full control of this ball game. But the last one, I think a lot of people wanted to talk about this too. Why why ban Mossed, but not Armbar? Well, I mean, I, I was seeing, I don't know about you, Bugs, but I saw some clips out there where guys would have first and goal from like the six and they would yes. run backwards past midfield to throw up moss from it'd be second and goal from your own 48 and they're throwing up a 52 yard bomb so that that tells you right there that's like an indictment of arm bar versus moss clearly they're not on the same they're not in the same yeah. solar system no of, they, they uh, are a balance they're not at all arm bar has its flaws arm bar is rough to watch i'm not a fan of arm bar at all however Most is guaranteed red zone offense. Anytime I can say, you know what, once I get into the red zone, I'll just run back 50 yards and I know I can chuck it and score. <laughs> yeah, I have seen the clips and it's the greatest red zone offense you could possibly ever have. So from that perspective, I don't think you can compare the two. 
Low ball over the middle. That is Marvin Harrison with the first down and a timeout. Second one of the first half for Rage. Already up 14, trying to take full control of this ballgame, make it a three-score ball game, heading into halftime. Jaywall just trying to hold on. He needs to force a turnover. He can't afford to give up any points right here. To the outside, that is going to be Harrison. He'll get out of bounds. Oh, they stop the clock's rolling and uh, the no huddle takes off nine more seconds. So we'll have to get right. a quick snap. He's going to run. He'll, he'll end up taking a timeout right here. Yep. And he is pretty much in field goal range. I can't remember if there's wind or not. If there isn't, this is good as money unless Ray's just completely shanks the kick. And there is the third timeout of the first half. Two seconds remaining, and it will be a 52-yard kick for Boswell. That's a minimum cap kicker, but that is about the extent of his range, so he'll need every bit of the power. That is up and good. Halftime score, 24-7. Rage looking to be our first returning champion to defend his bounty in the first round. Selfishly, I think, you know, as we call these matches, Boogs, we always want to, to have these $1,000 money games the entire length of the tournament. You know, technically, we don't root for anybody, but, you know, you want every single game to be high intensity for that cash. And then ideally, you're heading into the, the finals with a $2,000 game. Oh, most definitely. From a broadcast perspective, you're always kind of secretly rooting for that outcome, rooting for it because it also it just adds to the viewing experience. You get to watch the journey of last week's champion. Can they? carry carry this momentum all the way through to a through to a chip can they do that and rage so far is taking this momentum and moving on to the next round unless he just completely blows his game strong eye two tight ends dive up the middle with bo jackson we'll see a lot of that here in the second half it's going to bring up third down and one rockets just hit me in the discord said let's go ahead and roll a giveaway you guys must be following the channel to win the giveaway be positive, be active in the chat. If you guys win, you guys will get an opportunity. We'll go ahead and show you here after this play. If you guys win, you'll get a 